Hello, hello. This is Johannes Watery from Hold to Run. Today, let's code a mother of all listeners. And why do I call it the mother of all listeners? It is simply because with this piece of code, you can communicate between any activities from activity to another activity. You can communicate from any thread that you you are running on the background as a service or as a foreground service or just a normal thread in inside your activity but you still need to pass that data constantly update the data into another activity or into another fragment so this is a big issue in android to uh, effectively find a way to communicate between these different processes, which naturally you just cannot get the data from another activity into another activity from easily from background or foreground thread into these activities and even to get them share the same data source by all of them. So for to solve this issue, we're going to code mother of all listeners and uh, there's gonna be a focused source source of data being shared by all of these factors any thread any service any activity and the activities are naturally alive while the user opens the screen and uses the phone so we're gonna also ensure that those activities get assigned to the listener whenever it's been focused and requested to display the data. So, and of course, we'll be using view model based uh, uh, data sourcing in this. So, okay, before we start, just shortly to tell you, in my work, daily work, I've been recently dealing with very complex application which requires multi-activities and uh, a service-based data updating data handling to communicate into uh, uh, CPUs etc etc this kind of a uh, sparked me to find effective way to integrate all these different different aspects uh, uh, to use the updated data from a single source of truth so let me know at the end of the video or in in the comments please let me know if you have a more effective way to handle this issue or if this is actually very effective that i'm showing you because there might be other ways certainly there are other ways i know broadcasting can be used but broadcast has weak weak points the more complex and the more object oriented and the more the greater the size and and the frequency that need to update gets the broadcast kind of a uh, uh, just cannot handle it might end up in errors and uh, it's not as fast and it's not in my point of view i think it's not truly meant to handle complex sets of data so you need more native way to uh, directly push update and receive the uh, the any any data type that you need to handle that's why we will now code the mother of all listeners first we will add interface this will use interface which gets renewed based on which activity will be in use so we need a new class interface and let's call it uh, live data interface let's call it like that so for our demo it will only have one function update text this is gonna be a very I mean you can pass any data in here we're just gonna have a text of string so through this interface we can call new functions then we're gonna need 
Live Data Manager. Okay, let's create another class. It's gonna be a class and let's call it Live Data Manager. So this Live Data Manager will have an instance of our listener. It's gonna be, it's not gonna yet exist. Let's call it live data listener. Like so. And this live data manager we're gonna need to tell this when to update the listener based on what activity we want to get the data into. Okay. So set listener. And in here we just say listener. It's gonna need to be our live data interface like so and in here we will say will be this listener okay so we cannot yet access this class from anywhere And uh, certainly if we I would now create this, it's can always gonna be a new instance of it. So we need to uh, communicate through Singleton to make it work. So now let's create kind of a holder class to reference this. For this, we just create a Singleton object. Hmm, what do I call this? I call this gateway for now. I have no good name for it. Okay. And now we want to say extend live data manager. Okay. Now this kind of a gateway will always be in singleton. You can come up with a better name and uh, in in my own applications I do it this way because this live data manager is gonna have a whole lot of functions it might even have a threading loop or some kind of a constantly running uh, a data updating loop a lot of functions so I just want to keep this the mass of code in here and so that this class can be used as a block to be put into any place without lots of uh, modifications and via gateway we would just have surface level functions to say maybe start updating inject a list of data or stop commands or something like that so this is kind of a, a driver class and it's always going to hold the same reference of the instance because this is now a singleton okay we don't have any functions in here yet maybe we will need them or maybe not but now we want to start using this in our uh, activity classes so let's go into main activity so we have a view model in our main activity it has text that we need to start updating via this update function. Okay. We have a text composable, which should be showing the uh, updated text value in here whenever this gets updated. Okay. And now we will need to create a class to listen our live data manager and a functions to update this listener from this activity okay now let's create our listener instance in here to 
this is gonna be the in interface uh, sorry this is not gonna be interface in here we need to create the actual class so we can listen the override functions for instance via inner class like so and it's gonna be extending our live data interface and in here we will instantiate this in from our class and I like to use inner class in here because with this I can now access for instance the view module now I should be able to access that one I don't know why I cannot but first we need to implement members in here of course because we had the update function which can now be called from any place and in here we should be able to get our activity class view model we can say update we should have a function in there update value let's make it public update value with a new value like so and to make it thread safe we say view model view model scope dot launch like so okay now it is also thread safe because it's always going to be updated via view model scope so it doesn't matter in from whatever threading system or background service for a crown service our interface gets launched with a new value but in the activity itself it'll be always finished inside view model scope okay so now we need to tell our live data manager that hey please update your listener with my activity listener okay naturally when our activity gets created this is the correct place to uh, update it so remember our gateway which extends the live data manager we want to use this and maybe add some surface level functions in here later so we can now say gateway dot set listener and it's gonna be this listener from activity so and now let's say we would have one two three activities whenever a new activity is created it's gonna replace our live data manager listener from its own and what we can call the update functions from here and uh, it's gonna only update that listener what belongs into the current active activity okay man i hope i'm clear what i'm saying but let's make a demo pretty soon now this on create isn't enough we will need to use our some other lifecycle functions for instance on on start it's called each time we will need to ensure the main activity pushes pushes back its listener whenever we come back to the launcher actual main activity because it doesn't get destroyed in between these other activities the main activity the launcher activity stays open in the background okay so we also want to use the on start in here so now it seems our first activity is ready and for the sakes of the demo we're gonna simulate a 
thread service. Let's call a service which constantly updates new value into our live data manager. And we will start a endless thread in here. So start service and inside coroutine thread we can get endless service and it's gonna be hmm, let's not make it endless let's say run is false let's say like this and we can say run is run this stop run is run okay and in here we can now say while Hmm, why is this? Sorry. While through, we will run this service. Okay, now let's make it so that we get a ever changing text value. do I what will I do in here let's just say hello and uh, we're gonna need to have that can be val and this is gonna be our counter is one okay we're, we're gonna be incrementing that one and whenever this gets called now we want to feed a new value through our gateway into our live data manager okay gateway is in singleton object so we can access th through this from anywhere whatever we have a service whatever we have activity fragment it doesn't matter so now hmm, we don't have any update function yet to access and insert new value we need to create the function so okay so let's go in here and we would say update new value and we would have a new value of string in here and inside here because we have the listener live data listener live data listener it might be null it might not exist yet so we use the elvis operator we just say update new value like so. So this is the in interface. We can listen now what is happening whenever any instance, any place get calls this. As long as we're applying the activity-based listener into the live data manager. Okay. So now it's calling. We now need to call this function from our main activity so this is the way we start this hmm let's see update new value and we will create this so that we can see the value changing new text let's make it so and we will have counter in here 
okay and let's make a delay of one second and we can say counter plus plus after that okay just to ensure we will stop this thread somehow I just want to say on destroy when this main activity gets destroyed we just say this stop round is false okay and finally at some point it gets stopped so this is start service is now simulating any background threading service it might be foreground service it might be background service i don't know what services you can make it might be another activity a fragment a place totally disconnected source of code updating the data somehow asynchronously it doesn't matter so now we need to integrate the other activity so that it can also listen how this activity is constantly changing this new value hmm, okay let's first call this start this so let's put it in the on start so in sorry let's start in the on create after we have a listener so now it gets started only once okay good now we need to implement the second activity exactly the same except it's just gonna be listening and displaying the data hmm. let's use copy paste we want to have similar live data listener in our second activity okay like so and we need to instantiate this live data listener is live data listener okay now we have live data listener seems we have it needs to be public so inside here we have the second view model has exactly the same function just to update that one okay let's go back and it is displaying the data whenever this gets updated into our screen hmm okay what will we do with the live data listener we need to tell this gateway to set the listener exactly as we did in here okay of course while the second activity gets created too we will say it like so we don't have the listener let's make it listener in here so when this second activity this is not launcher activity when this gets opened it's going to replace our live data manager listener by its own so the main activity won't get the updates anymore but now we are getting the updates through here okay and exactly as on the first activity also in the on start we want to say set listener just to make sure that this activity gets the reference gets its instance inside of the live data manager okay there won't be any thread in here for now but we can see that it's actually this activity receiving the value via tag identifier so whenever it gets updated when we open this activity we should see second activity text instead of main activity 
text and of course the new value as it's been driven in here it will say hello and each second it, the value gets incremented at least this should work once we start this main activity now let's test this so that it's gonna work between these two activities and uh, also log and visually confirm that the uh, it, it it's gonna also change the listener is only gonna be active based on what activity is currently active so we should now when we run the app i added a, a in between i just added a next button in here under my text so that from the main activity I can click the button and pretty much open jump into the uh, second activity and we should instantly see the change that it's not this activity anymore who's updating uh, the, uh, the, the live data and who's receiving the updates in their listener so before we do this let's just let's add print functions in here so we can tag listen this tag value in the log cat and also into the second activity so once we jump in here we should only see in the log cat also the second activity name no at each second not anymore the main activity so okay let's start the app we should immediately because we start the service there you can see we are running we are updating the live data into our data manager and we told the live data manager that hey use my listener and now we are receiving the updates okay now we jump into second activity it has nothing to do with the uh, uh, looping service in here but it can still listen the changes. Let's jump. Boya. Okay, you can see second activity is receiving that those updates now. And now when we go into log cat and let's try to see we are seeing second activity. Yes, you can see second activity in here at each second. Now when I jump back we should not see second activity anymore. Yes, we're seeing main activity. So the listener gets changed in between and our background task it gets updated. And it doesn't matter where you operate currently, you get the live data. That is perfect. Now let's make this more complex and let's transfer our service task inside our live data manager and let's add start and stop buttons into activity one and two so they can also control this so i cannot stop this now but let's make it so and uh, i'm just gonna copy paste this into our live data manager now you have the service and we need to have run this is false okay we don't have scope in here okay now we have while this dot run hmm like so and now our listener can call update new values can we call them yes we can call this directly in here because it holds that function hmm. now let's make stop also we don't need to make the stop in here let's keep this in here like 
like so. We don't need to keep this run. Hmm. Yeah, yep. Let's keep you in here. Now let's make some surface level functions in here. Start. We have start service. Yes. And let's make stop. Stop can be stop. We don't need to start boolean value there either. We can just say true like so. And let's say stop. Stop. Ah. Like so. And just to be sure, let's say scope default dot cancel. Let's say user canceled. Okay. Our delay should be safeguarded against uh, interceptions because we are cancelling this, but hmm, let's see if it crashes or not. Now we're calling this in here, we're calling that one in here. That's in interesting. Okay, yeah, I was messing up because I had this exact same name that actually inside here. So that's why I was messing up my functions. But okay, the point is that we're gonna have just a few functions to interact into our live data manager through this uh, singleton object. And this class itself will hold way more functionalities to uphold modify and manipulate the data. You could simplify this, but uh, I, I'll just keep it as it is, because I've noted that this serves me well in, in big project. So now we need to um, go into our main function and add a couple of buttons and so that we can start and stop that service from here and also from the second activity. So let's delete our start service function from here. Let's clean this just a bit because the thread service simulation is not anymore in here. Let's delete that one from there. And uh, next button. Hmm. Okay. Let's say start stop button. Start button. Okay. No modularity just fixed start and whenever we pass the function this should now say yeah on click and let's create another one stop button and you are stop okay hmm now let's add them in here. Start button. It needs on click function and stop button. It needs on click function. So now we have our gateway start and let's pass you there and say stop. 
cool. Let's copy paste these also into our second activity underneath our greetings. By the way, we can use these composables because the main activity they reside outside of the uh, activity class, so this kind of a is a KT file now. So they're global composables for me to use. Okay, so in here, hmm, they gotta be inside a column so they stack correctly. Cool. Now we should be able to start and stop our listener live data manager from any of these activities. So let's see. Let's run the app and see how we start. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. Of course, not working, start, stop, super. So we cannot use the scope default cancel in here because it's totally going to destroy the uh, R created instance of scope default. So if I would say cancel also in here, I probably need to recreate this scope each time through the start. So I'm just going to comment it out and uh, let's retry. So in our main, uh, we are in, yeah, main activity. We can start, stop. Let's go into second activity. Yeah, we can start and stop. And it's going to, of course, whenever we restart, start from one. So, but if we let it run, we go back into main activity, it continu continues where it is and uh, also in here. Perfect. This is super cool. So I hope you understand the, how useful this kind of a mother of all listeners is because truly this now lets you effectively pass in manipulate any type of data and you can hugely, I mean huge in big time, you can code complex live data manager class, access it through your singleton object gateway and uh, listen from any activity, manipulate the uh, live data content from any source of uh, background threading system services, whatever, the more complex you go, the more it becomes a fact that you're going to stumble how to be effective, how to communicate from different sources into your user activities and still gain the same data that it, it does require, because usually they do share similar data models and uh, they need a single source of truth. So I hope this is helping and uh, in my big projects they are getting more complex in my in my daily work and in my personal projects and I'll be surely implementing this method into my apps in the future. Let me know if you know even a better way to deal between these uh, uh, separate services and activities because this is valuable information to uh, handle this and uh, yeah but anyhow I, I like what I've done in here and I hope it's gonna help your applications to scale up big time okay we'll be back